Today we're solving two-step equations again, but um, there's just some other situations that we haven't seen yet. So we will call this solving two-step equations day two. That's supposed to be a day there. So let me just jump right into some examples. We've already learned a lot of the basics to doing this, but there's some situations that you're going to see tonight that you haven't really seen before. And here's the first one. 3 minus 1 half x equals 9. Now we actually have worked with this a little bit the other day. Uh, the first thing that we should do is move the 3 over. So let's use an opposite. So we will subtract 3 from both sides which makes these threes go away. And the critical part is remembering what I still have over on this left side of the equation. I still have a negative one-half x. The right side is nine minus three, which is six. And now that you've made it that far, it looks just like our other problems where we multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 2 over 1, the reciprocal, negative 2 over 1 times both sides. On the left side, everything goes away, and I have an x. On the right side, I need to put 6 over 1, and there's nothing I need to factor, so I just multiply across, and I have negative 12. Okay? So that's a little like the ones we've been doing. Now this next situation is entirely new. This situation um, is really not that hard, but you need to know how to deal with it. In this problem, I've got an algebraic expression on top of this fraction. I've got this thing right here, this w minus 5 on top. But that whole thing is divided by 9. So we need to move that 9 over first. So let's, remember I told you to always use an opposite. What's the opposite of dividing by 9? Multiplying. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 9. Now watch how this works on the left side. I bring down what I've got here w minus 5 over 9, and on the right side I bring down the 2. Of course the right side is going to be easy, that's going to be 18. Now watch on the left side. The left side acts just like a regular fraction. I put this 9 over 1. Now just ignore that w minus 5. Can't I factor the 9's? Right? Can't I factor diagonally with this 9 and this 9? So let's factor them out. That'll become 1. This will become 1. And the only thing that remains is w minus 5. So now that ugly fraction is gone, and I just have w minus 5 equals 18. Now isn't it easy to finish that? I'll add 5 to both sides. And I will have w equals 23. So the key to that problem is multiplying first on this problem. Multiply first. And what that does is it makes the fraction go away. All right? Now, let me give you one of those to try on your own. K minus 4, the whole thing divided by 2, equals negative 13. I'll pause the video. You try it on your own. Good. I've been seeing some good things with your work. I need to multiply both sides by 2. On this side over here, it's going to make the 2's go away, and I will just have a k minus 4. On the right side, when I multiply it by 2, 2 times negative 13 
is negative 26. And now I just add 4 to both sides to finish. So k equals negative 22. Now the next problem is another problem where we have to rewrite it before we start it. If I have 5a over 6 equals 35. Now that looks like something totally new to us, but it's really not. And here's why. If I rewrite this problem as 5 sixths a equals 35, then we see, oh, I already know how to do that. That's the problem where we multiply by the reciprocal. Okay? So these two things right here, the first step and the second step, are the same thing. You can just put that a down here like I did. Make it 5 sixths a. All right? Just rewrite it. Now we just multiply both sides by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply the left side by 6 over 5 and the right side by 6 over 5. On the left side, everything goes away, and I just have an A. On the right side, I put the 35 over 1 and do my factoring. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 35 divided by 5 is 7. The answer is 42. So all you have to do, the key to this problem is rewriting it. Okay? Rewrite 5a over 6 as 5 sixths a. That's the key to this problem. Okay? So um, the next situation is 32 equals uh, 2x plus 6x. Now this might throw some people off, but it's really not very hard because all you have to do is something simple at the beginning. Does anybody see what I need to do? Combine like terms. This is the same thing as 32 equals 8x. And now it's easy to finish. Divide both sides by 8. x equals 4. All right? Combine like terms first. You'll see some of those tonight. Um, how about this problem? 30 equals negative 5 times 2a minus 10 in parentheses. We are going to use distributive property first. Use, I'm going to abbreviate, distributive property. So I'm going to distribute my multiplication over top, just like we learned. So this right side will become negative 10a plus 50. And the left side will still be 30. And now we solve it like we always have. Subtract 50 first. 50's go away. Now I have negative 20 equals negative 10a. Divide both sides by negative 10. and a equals 2. It will be important tonight to have your notes close by so you can kind of match up these problems. Just remember, I want to go, just put one more problem up that we're not going to go through all the way. Let's say that I had <coughs> negative 7n over 9 equals 14. Now we just did this problem a minute ago, or a problem like it. What did we say we need to do to this problem before we start? Change this, good, to negative 7 ninths n equals 14. Right? And then multiply by the reciprocal. Okay? We don't even need to finish that problem. So we will stop there for today.